After passing a pitch inspection, this one goes ahead at Balmoral. Interim manager Gavin Levy makes two changes after the 2-0 win against Hamilton. As Aberdeen hit a run of form, three unbeaten. Maya Christie and Maddie Finney coming in for Lauren Campbell and Chloe Gover. Hearts recorded a famous draw with Rangers last weekend, so Ava Olid only makes the one change. Rebecca McAllister coming in for Erin Rennie. Hearts have won the last three meetings between these two sides, so the heavy favourites this afternoon. How will they get things started? McAllister wins it back off Collins. And that's Kira Grant fouled in the midfield. A chance maybe for Hearts to have a go at goal early on. Grant stands over. She slides it through. There's Georgia Timms at the back post. She rattles the woodwork. And then it goes behind. Well, she's the player you'd want that chance to fall to, Georgia Timms. Just inches away from opening the scoring after only four minutes. Early corner. Chip to the back post, there's Tim's again. And it's straight at Annalisa McCann. Another chance for Georgia Tim's. Not quite sure she was expecting that. Managed to get her header on target though. Brownlee clips forward. Aberdeen just about deal with it, but McAllister able to bring it back under control. It's poor from Grant. And this is where Aberdeen can hurt teams on the break. Well, that's a lovely ball through from Shore. Here's Bailey Hutchison up against Parker Smith, who stays on her feet and then makes the save. Well, Bailey Hutchison would normally bury those chances. It's a fantastic slide ball through that Hunter doesn't deal with. Parker Smith in the end almost slide tackling that ball out for a corner. There's Monica Forsyth, good challenge from Collins, but she doesn't win the ball. Grant whips in. Timms using her body well, pulls it back. Shot on goal, did that hit a hand? Moderate protestations from the Hearts players around the box. It's Kira Grant with the effort. Does look like it hits Broderick's arm. Nothing given. For Scythe. Clipping it into Tim's. Tries on the turn. It's a looped effort. Almost all the way in. But McCann. Well, she thinks she kept that one out. Georgia Tim's isn't best pleased with the linesman. Does that cross the line? Like a bar of soap, but McCann thinks she's done enough. Timms. Mickey, slide ball through, there's Jenny Smith, big chance! Well, that should have been the opener. Jenny Smith had to hit the target there, but she just passes that one comfortably wide in the end. Timms. Holding off the Aberdeen defender, she goes down under the challenge of Hansen, right on the edge of the box. And it'll be a booking for the Aberdeen defender. This would be a big point for Aberdeen if they can hold on. Brownlee stands over it. She curls. Oh, what an effort! And after 76 minutes, the deadlock is broken. It's Emma Brownlee who whips the free kick in. And that should give Hearts the win. I thought it was a really competitive game and I thought Hearts came and, and played some really nice football and you know, whilst we expected them to probably have more of possession today, um, we felt we did really well in terms of frustrating them and, and denying them too many chances in open play. And overall, probably just disappointed that we've competed for so long and then and lost the goal to a decent free kick. Happy for the result, for the performance. I always say we have a lot to keep working, a lot to improve. We cannot relax. Uh, the, this league, everything can happen, and you have to work so hard every week.